shocked. It seems simple enough. It's characterized by a crazy perfusion of blood and impaired cell metabolism. There's five types of shock. You just gotta know. Divided into two. Maldistribution of blood and low blood flow. Let's start with the latter. In this group, there's two. Cardiogenic and hypo. Cardiogenic is systolic and dystolic dysfunction. Either it can't pump blood forward or the heart just can't get a fill in. Then there's hypovolemic where fluid loss is the case. Where external loss of whole blood or body fluids escape. Now let's move on to maldistribution. See what neurogenic, anaphylactic, and septic shock are doing. Neurogenic has to do with the brain, and it's an injury caused to the fifth vertebrae. Think anaphylactic, it's quick and it's deadly. It's a hypersensitive reaction brought on by an allergy. And last but not least, there's the shock that is septic, a systemic inflammatory response brought on by an infection. So I'm shocked! Now I hope you are too. Now remembering the five types of shock will be easy to do.